Leo, welcome to your Astro Flower reading going from the 4th of December through to the 10th of December. Uh, let's just see what's going on for you here. Oh, there's a whole new sort of... Oh, you, you, learn, you seem to be on this real joyous learning curve. And wow, this is amazing. Everybody's been getting this thing, this five of pentacles now. Yeah, as you're learning, don't focus on your weaknesses going forward. It seems like that's the most obvious thing because you are going to own it because of this knowledge that you're creating this week or this understanding of the opening of the pathway, as it were, around you or in your life. Uh, on your financial side, happiness is driving you, but you're not feeling it. You're not feeling it. You've been, it's like you've stalled the motors in a way. Uh, it's like, um, uh, there's been a lot of enthusiasm enthusiasm and you should be following on your path and it's um it's like you've changed gear too quickly that's what it's like it's like you know when you're driving in the car and you're going off and you're driving along and then you go from one gear to another but you've done it too early and it's a bit sluggish you know it's a, it's a bit sluggish that's what i think and i'm not sure that is the reality of the situation but we will see. We will see that with the clarifications. Um, yes, overall energy, page of cups. I think you're learning about your heart here. Uh, learning about um, sort of uh, the wonders of life. Uh, it's also, um, you're dreaming of a situation and this is where maybe you've moved up the gears too fast. You've, you get out of your dream and into the world uh, in a physical sort of sense. Maybe that's a little bit about it. Maybe it's just a case of don't daydream, do, you know, sort of scenario. On your relationship side, you have the devil card in the karmic mission. So I think there is a lot of detail you've got to be observing at the moment. I think there's a very fine detail of um, within re relationships, quite a lot of nuances. That's what I'm getting off of it. And these nuances can be read in multitudes of different ways uh, in life. And I think this is where you've got to be attentive to those nuances that are around you. The universe here is bringing you in the Queen of Wands. Really beautiful energy. And the beautiful thing about it is, is that the top of the dial, you know, the overall outcome, you've got the King of Wands. Could the universe be bringing in that person that is just the ultimate match for you? It's very possible, I think. Very possible. And so, uh, you know, the Queen of Wands is, it's, it's a lot of, you know, the, the, the universe is bringing you in the opportunity to engage in your life sociably. The moment you do, and the moment you spark that passion within you and within other people, that's when things are going to start flowing, are really going to start one, you know, going in your sort of direction. I think you've been opening in this pathway for a long time. Uh, this is in your um, the um, petal that's concerned with the longer term sort of karmic path um, and also sort of like the your, your guides that are guiding you on the super subconscious level uh, and here I think you've been using a lot of your 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 wit your mental agility your sociability your suaveness within groups of people which I think you certainly have this royal sort of feel about you and you've been learning about that pathway of, you know, exercising your abilities, your mental abilities uh, in order to get the best out of life. And I think that's where you've generally be coming from. But there is this sort of in the motor, as I said earlier on, and uh, you're getting it on both sides. This is the funny thing. Um, and uh, on this side here, you get the five of pentacles. Now, normally it's to do with money loss, but obviously that's not within this situation. I think through this learning process, you're almost going from being the page to the king or the queen, you, you know, the, the king more than anything else, owning it. Obviously, this is not gender specific, but, um, you know, and here is this process. And as you go between the two, it's a little bit kind of, ooh, it's a bit it's sort of like you're, you know, you're, you're focusing too hard on your defaults, maybe. Um, and you're but you're going from this transition. This person here has obviously got some sort of major problems going on in their lives, 
Uh, and then you've got the blessing between there on the stained glass windows. And then coming out the other side, you no longer need the crutches, you're grown. And I think it's what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Sort of thing, sort of scenario. That's what I've that's what I'm getting out of this. So don't let it um play on your sort of um on your on your weak side, on your doubt and stuff like that. I would really allow that sort of that light and bright energy that you've been having for some time come through. Because the moment you do, if you re retain in that, and that's where the devil's in the detail, I think, in that sort of situation there. Once you retain that, then all of a sudden, I think by the end of the week, you're going to be sort of feeling like that. Okay, now I've got a certain uh, influence or control over my direct environment. I'm actually driving this creation. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> wow so yeah it you know it could be um it could be um sort of like driving you making you really passionate and also taking on that journey and sort of saying yeah i'm going to go ahead and do it i'm going to live it and it seems like you're this is where you're striding in advance to your own healing situation uh where it provides for you i'm going to sneeze again <laughs> I don't have a cold. It just sometimes comes on. And sometimes I can be sneezing all night. It's really sort of quite funny. But anyway, you are going to be, you know, that you're going to be sitting in your power as you go towards your sort of destination. Okay? <coughs> Let's get on to your financial side because that's also got a, bl a blip in the system. This is your karmic message. Sunshine, shining a light on you, getting recognition, just feeling like a good summer's day that works really well for you. And I think this is why you've, I think this is, maybe if you're jumping the gun here, this is where you should, you know, satisfy yourself to breathe in that sort of success, breathe in that sort of happiness. Take the time to actually absorb all that beautiful sunshine upon you, you know, and really make you feel good about yourself. Uh, that's what I think the karmic path here is, and I'm not sure you're doing that, and we'll get to that in a second, but uh, after that, you've got the Seven of Cups there, the evident path. I think the um, on at the moment, the universe is trying to sort of like encourage you to sort of follow the path that is according to your heart's desires. It's You're learning about that. That's what you're learning about, and I think this is where the universe is really trying to help you. And it's probably helping you with lots of coincidences around you. Very slight things, but make you smile and make you, you know, that's, that's going to make the rest of my day or this hard work worth it. You know what I mean? That sort of thing. Just the little things in life that are really going to sort of like play into your favour. Um, where are you coming from? I think you've been very patient about this whole sort of affair, really. Uh, could be a new job, business, projects. Now you're into it. This is where it's sort of saying... Okay, now it's the time to start moving from what is within your, you know, within your ideas into sort of concrete stuff. Uh, and it's a transformation going on here. There is a degree of you've been patient, but after patience comes uh, action. And I think this is, I think in general, it's a like, it's before the wave has actually got you, but you can feel the waters arising around you. And this is that whole sort of blip, as I was sort of, sort of saying, like, boop, boop, the carve and stuff like that, in the same week, and um, the same week, in the same position. And this is that feeling of stuck. I think you will get that feeling of being stuck if you're not um, sort of um, moving on and engaging with it. If you do have to wait around, and this is possibly where you've jumped the gun a little bit, maybe that's where... In the past, because you've gone up through the gears a bit too quickly, um, you know, everything has had to adjust for it and that slowed things down. So you might be going slower than you actually could be because you've just jumped the gears. And this is making you feel a little bit stuck in a way, okay? And if you take issue with that, I think you're going to be pretty... You're going to be, it's not going to go as fast as you as you want. I think this is where you've got to keep it much more fine-tuned, much more within your happiness. Once you start allowing that through, I think this, you can say goodbye to this. And following that evident path is really important here. 
Uh, and it is going to need a bit of patience. Yes, there is no doubt about it. But it's a warning card. This is what I get off of it more than anything else. It's a warning card. Get Be ready to spring into action. This, you know, this dreaming process is, is brilliant. It's great for illuminating the, the, the pathway, the ideals and everything like that. But there is a point where it does need to spark into action, both on your relationship side as much as on your, you know, your financial side. Let's do a clarification with the Lightseers card and let's see what's going on there. I've already had one card that's fallen out. From the Page of Cups, you get the, the, the Knight of Cups. That is that offering. I think you have this, the, the learning to sort of um, embrace the idea, to convert it into action, and that's what happens here. What you can do, that you can convert all of this beautiful energy, actually, into, you know, or some of the energy that's even sort of a little bit sluggish. It's almost as if, like, you have this capacity to just change down a gear, and that's when you can then pick up. It's almost like you're you're learning how to you're learning how to speed your life up, you know, and you know how to judge your life a lot easier, basically for you. With the um, devil, you get the well card. Yeah, I think there's a big opportunity for you actually, a big offering that's that's available here for you if you do not. Um, you know, get too sluggish and do not focus on your bad points of your life. The funny thing about this as well, and because we're we're coming up to it, this is two Capricorn cards. And Capricorn is a earth sign and it tends to um, be very methodical and it likes the way things work and how they, you know, what you need to do in order to get to where you want to be uh, sort of scenario in a very mechanical factor. Um, and it's maybe something that you could take from that. The world, um, you know, to help you sort of, you know, make this uh, make this pathway a much more sort of solid and concrete uh, for you and, and help you to embody that sort of like King of Wands in a much more uh, solid way. Yeah. OK. But the world does give us everything in this new cycle. Everything is available because everything comes from the earth. And then you get the Seven of Cups again from the universe. As I said, I think it's a lesson that you're learning on both sides of how to control your speed, how to speed up when you want things to speed up, how to slow down when you want things to slow down. You know, um, and that's all in the way in which we engage in life. Uh, with, the, um, eight, with the Queen of Wands, you get these Seven of Cups, the evident path. I think they're... The universe is bringing in that social aspect into your life. They're bringing into lots of sort of um, different activities. But when you're there, be there, basically. Concentrate on it. You know, there is loads of things going on. There is loads of possibilities, but there's only one cup giving you it. And with the Ace of Wands, uh, Queen of Wands, sorry, that's what that's all about. It's going to help you to focus that energy. And focusing that energy comes from the understanding of the three of the Page of Swords, sorry. And with it, you get the Three of Wands. Yeah, the Three of Wands is... Um, it's it's procrastination. And there is a degree of that at the moment that I'm noticing. And I think, you know, as I say, with the gears, it's sort of... You know, you, 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 you've stepped up a bit too quickly in the gears. And it looks like it's, you know, on both on your relationship side, it may have just feel like it's going to be... But that's the time when we start kind of going, why, what have I done wrong? What have, you know, and that's not the time to do that. At that moment then, when things really go, really drop, that's the time to kind of go, what do I like? Because obviously if you want to be in a place where it's nice, it's good, it's vibrant, when it's slow and, and sluggish, that's when you really want to be kind of going, well, in that case, if it's slow and luggish, let me do something that makes me feel happy and vibrant. That's what it's all about, that five of air. There you go. Love it. Love it. Look at that. It's exactly that. That's what you can turn that into that. Into you. And this is, I think you do understand this. And I think it's it's not it's not calling you out at all. Because, you know, there's I'm the last person to call out anybody. You know, at the end of the day, you know, we've all got our own sort of like paths to tread and everything like that. There's no way I'm going to judge somebody else's path 
um, fully. It's not my, you know, it's not my, not my role. But anyway, you understand this. You, you get this and you can actually put it into action where you create this sunshine. It is an, an amazing, and, and once you get it, it's like riding a bike. Once you get it and you kind of go, oh, right, of course. Buy me, I'm so stupid, why? You know, lovers in the King of Wands. And could this be the look at that? Look at that. You know, I'm I've gotta I've gotta show it. Look at that. You know, it's so amazing. Divine counterparts could well be yours. Don't give up. Don't on love. Just don't give up on it. It, you know, if you're looking for it, don't give up on it because it's it's really that's when you really start looking at your your bright side of you. That's when you're going to meet that person. And if if it's going a bit sluggish with you in your relationship at the moment, inject a bit of fun, the things that you love to do, and then you know you'll fall in love with that person all over again. You know, could be absolutely beautiful. With the Sun card, we got the Sun again. With the Sun card on, this is on your financial side. Sun card, you get the uh, the full card, the the leap of faith. It's the first card in the deck, so it's the beginning of the story, basically. So I'm I'm getting a feeling that you've had this opportunity that's been sent into you or given to you or created for you within your business, within your job, within your projects. You've got this sort of like situ, you know, you've got this promotion or job or whatever it is. And it's, it feels like it's not living up, it feels like you're thinking it's not living up to the, up to the dream, basically. And um, you're a little bit, it's, it's also the full card is also sort of pushing your, you know, your, um, you know your your comfort zones really the boundaries of your comfort zones and this is what the sunshine is all about uh and it's also shining it on this and sort of saying you got to dig you know not dig deep but you, you got to remember why you're doing this and you know remember why that yeah it was actually i really want to do this and this is what i do enjoy doing this and if it's not what you're enjoying doing then your karmic message is to shine that light on there to take a leap of faith and do something that you enjoy. That's what I do. But for a lot of you and who the lot of people who've been following the Astro Flag, you've <coughs> you've certainly gone through this over the last six months, I think. Uh, and this is that evident path that we're talking about here, that that's what it leads into. That leap of faith. It's something new here, and it's almost as if like after the initial way. Hey, You've got that, it's like, it's after the honeymoon period, basically. With the um, Seven of Cups, if you do follow this path, you're actually, it's going to, it's going to fulfill a lot of things for you. And if you're patient enough with yourself and you start understanding how to accelerate it within life, uh, within your financial side, so pushing the boundaries, I think, um, and in making your enjoyment of what you do, push the boundaries that are around you. And that's that leap of faith as well with the full card. But by following your heart, this is when all of a sudden, the moment you start doing that, the universe or overall energy is going to help your business or your job or stuff like that to actually open the doors to something that is really beautiful for you. But the temperance card, you get the two of cups. You know, these are these two of cups here being offered here by the page and the knight of cups. Be patient with love. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with people that is around you. I know it's difficult, but it's within your... And this is where you've missed the gear. Uh, and once you're patient with them, you can actually drop it down a gear and then retake it up and recollect it in. You know, connect it in. So I think this is turning an, an, uh, what could be a negative situation into a very, very positive situation. I'll be very interested to see now what comes out with the... Um, with these cards here. Look at that. Yeah. I feel good. Do, 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 do. Like I knew that I would now. Ace of Wands with the Eight of Swords. I think you're being hard on yourself. I think, you, you know, 
sometimes our eyes are bigger than our stomachs, as we say in the UK. I don't know if you say that in Australia or in uh, in America, but sometimes our eyes are bigger than our, our, our stomachs. And I think this is a case of this. And if you just stop for a second, all of a sudden you'll reignite that passion within you. And that'll kind of go, okay, everything's rocking and rolling again. I don't feel stuck. I don't feel under pressure. Because you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself. And this is that whole sort of happiness of where you're going, that evident path of what you should be following, that ace of cups, that, you know, that two of cups here. Look, with the temperance has two of cups. And there you have the two of cups. It's putting it all back together, putting you back into the passion of doing what you're doing. That seems to be a really important, it's a hurdle that you've got to get up. And we've all got hurdles to get over occasionally, you know. And what comes out of it? The nine of pentacles. With the nine of cups down at the bottom. I think the universe is really giving you a helping hand here. I think this disappointment of the past, you will start realising that the benefits of you get by following your passions and following your inner to it, in intuition your inner self your inner being um uh, within your workspace uh that's when you start sort of creating a scenario where you're constantly receiving rewards as you go down your path as you go down what you're supposed to be doing and the more you go down it the more that you you know you receive what you you, you need and this disappointment if if okay so on the three of cups, those are the three of cups that are spent and those are the two of cups that he should be focusing on or this person should be focusing on. They're not. They're focusing on those three spent cups there and they should be focusing on that, on the two of cups, which is down there. And once they do do that, once you do do that, what comes out of it is all the beautiful abundances that you will need as you gradually go down your path. And it's you then who can choose where, when, why, and how fast you go. Absolutely lovely reading for you, Leo. Thank you very much for being here. Really do appreciate it. Hope you get the best out of these readings. Um, I love the support you give this channel. Subscribing, liking, uh, you know, sharing is brilliant, obviously. Uh, there's loads of links in the description below where you can get a private reading with myself or a um, um, or our, see on our sister channel, Cymatic TV, which is a channel all about energy. I will see you soon, maybe for the live during the week, um, where you can ask a question on the monthly reading as well, uh, on any one petal on the monthly reading, and I will be answering with cards and uh, energy as it were. I will see you soon. In the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.